Hi, good morning. Welcome again to the uh, this uh, to my YouTube channel. I'm Professor Riaz Ahmed. In this very video, I will analyze some of the important textual lines of Charles Dickens' novel *Hard Times*. Now, it's time to analyze some of the important textual lines. Is for this which uh, I have the text of Charles Dickens' *Hard Times*. Is for uh, uh, the book is the text is. Uh, it was the contents of the novel. Uh, basically, it is comprised of three books: book the first, book the second, and book the third. The book, the first, what the title is, sowing. The second, the book, the second is reaping, and the last one, the book, the third is garnering. So it is basically uh, sowing, reaping, and garnering. Uh, this is what, uh, as far what it is, uh, uh, a phone, and this is what you are, what you are familiar. With this very, uh, this what uh, the quote is, it is also you, uh, you reap. So now it's time. This what I will uh, go to the chapter number one, book the first sowing, and uh, is for chapter number one. Uh, the title of the chapter is is for the name is the one thing needful, the one thing needful. So this what uh, the chapter number one. The very first lines is for. Uh, page number one, chapter number one, and the very first lines are, is for the, the lines are, uh, first of all, I read uh, the textual lines. Now, what I want is facts. Teach these boys and girls nothing but facts. Facts alone are wanted in life. Plant nothing else and root out everything else. You can only from the minds of reasoning Animals upon facts. Nothing else will ever be of any service to them. This is the principle on which I bring up my own children. And this is the principle on which I bring up these children. Stick to facts, sir. So, this is what the textual lines are. And uh, in the very uh, the first, uh, in the introductory uh, paragraph, what we do find uh, is for the philosophy of, uh, of utilitarian, uh, this is what, what they are concerned, what they are concerned about, excessive concern about facts, about statistics. And this is what the speaker in the very first paragraph, what uh, opening, that what he is talking about, about facts, facts and facts. This is what in very, this in very short paragraph, what we do find this, the very word, the very word facts five times. And uh, it's for Charles Dickens, which uh, very uh, a beautiful technique uh, is for uh, uh, this which, uh, repeating the keywords, the keywords, and uh, what reminding us that uh, what all these keywords about. So this the first very keyword is facts, facts, and uh, what we do find this keyword facts is repeated five times. And uh, what the, who is the speaker? In the very opening paragraph, this is what the speaker is. Speaker is uh, Thomas Gradgrind, the champion of uh, what utilitarian philosophy, facts worshipping. This is what uh, absolute of facts, the icon of facts, and what he uh, this is what uh, in his own school, in his own ed educational institution, what he just. Uh, uh, this what uh, emphasizing facts and facts and facts. There is no room, there is no space for, for fancy, for imagination, and uh, is for what it is uh, for uh, this what uh, uh, this what for for for, for, uh, for the concern for others. So it for now what I want is facts. These, these boys and girls nothing but facts. This what the education system of 19th century England was. It's what the school of great grind, and what he just uh, focusing, what he says, all those uh, boys and girls, that what you are uh, needed, what you are, to learn facts, facts and facts, and nothing else. This is what it is something something important in your life. This is what something essential in your life, and uh, what this uh, what. Just fill your mind with facts, with statistics. This is what you are. Uh, this is what uh, uh, reasoning animal, and what you what you need. 
This what, what, what all your life is based on, on facts, on statistics, on figures, and nothing else. So, this is what uh, the very opening paragraph and uh, what is taught to the boys and girls of that very school all about facts. And uh, what Thomas Gradgrind says, I, I, I bring up my own children. This is what uh, in the line of all this, this is what in the line of this very philosophy. What I just uh, bring up my, my children, all this what they are taught, facts and facts and facts. And all those, this what, uh, all these children, all these boys and girls, what they are taught, facts. And uh, what he says, sticks to facts, sticks, stick to facts. This what, nothing else. No room, no space for fancy, for, imagi for imagination, for nothing else. What he says, this is what uh, uh, the striking sentence is, plant nothing else and root out everything else. So what it is required, plant facts, statistics in their mind. And uh, what root out? Root out all this fancy imagination. So this is what all life is about, facts and uh, about statistics. So this is what it is, the very opening paragraph and what we do find, this is what the major theme is. Facts and fancy, this is what the contrast is. So, dear, this is what I go again, this is what uh, uh, again in this very chapter and page number one, and this is what uh, in the letter, what uh, Thomas Great Grand says, this is what the textual line is. In this life, we want nothing but facts. Sir, nothing but facts. Yes, this is what it is all clear. What it is all clear? What Thomas Great Grind. Uh, this is what his philosophy is, what, uh, this is what he emphasizes, what this is what uh, he teaches, facts, facts and facts and nothing else is concerned, nothing else is important. So as far as this in the chapter number one and this is what the, uh, page number one, it's all about, about facts and this is what uh, who is fact worshipping Thomas Great Grind. This is what uh, it is a uh, central character, a unifying character, the whole story which uh, revolves around him and this is what the structure of the plot, what uh, revolving around, around him and uh, this is what this very person is. So thank you my dears.